Yamato was no speed queen ocean liner. She was a battleship, and she had to slog it out with some of the fiercest floating artillery batteries in the world. American warships fielded 16-inch guns that could hit hard. If a shell penetrated Yamato's decks or hull, a single catastrophic explosion could send her to the bottom in seconds. Designers set about constructing what was essentially an enclosed bathtub of armour to protect the battleship's most vital spaces, both from above and below the waterline. Now this was standard practice on virtually all battleships, but what was unprecedented was the sheer thickness of Yamato's armour. The armoured citadel encased spaces running from the aftermost gun turret to the forwardmost gun turrets about 600 feet away, extending two or three storeys below the waterline for maximum protection. To prevent penetration from enemy shells, the idea was to minimise the amount of flat surfaces and angle the armour as much as possible. A shell passing through angled armour is, first of all, more likely to be deflected by the angle, but if it penetrates, it has to simply pass through more steel. Absolutely critical to the survival of the ship was the protection surrounding her three powder magazines, here, here, and here. One hit into one of these, where tons of cordite explosives were stored for her guns, would be the end. 